I have lost 20 pounds since the end of April this year using Weight Watchers. And I thought I had my food dialed in with a uh, loss with losses eight weeks in a row. I started a CrossFit type workout a week ago and weighed in immediately after I was up 0.8. I do eat a little before and drink water during I was weighed, weighed, I'm sorry. I was weighed fasted this week. I'm up an additional one gaining two in a two weeks in a row. I am sore everywhere and understand that my muscles may hold water to repair after starting a more intense workout. How long should I wait to modify my food consumption? I eat some weekly points, but not all of them, and I don't eat my fit points. On the bright side, I can see that my hips are narrowing after five workouts. I need to measure inches. Thanks. All right, great question. So um, when I do work with a coaching client, if they are not already strength training, I usually try to tell them to wait till they have their food dialed in, which it sounds like you kind of did from the sounds of it, because you sound like you had eight weeks of being consistent with weight loss, eight weeks of knowing where you need to be to hit a calorie deficit. But then when you said you started to um, lift, or it sounds like doing CrossFit, then all of a sudden you saw some changes on the scale. So there's a couple factors that are going on here. And please hear me on this. When you start a weight loss program of any kind, um, you normally will see your best results within that first six to eight weeks. You're going to see your biggest drops within that first six to eight weeks for most people. Not to say that you couldn't get a sporadic one here or there, but for the most part, at that point, the water weight has dropped off. Your body has now gone through the process of kind of acclimating to everything. So ultimately, that six to eight week period, you might hit a brief plateau. It could be a week or two. Plus, at that point, you've lost usually a good chunk of weight and your body sometimes needs a stagnation period to kind of get used to these changes that are happening. So your weight loss will not stick at the same consistent rate through the entire process. That's number one. Number two, when you do add in strength training or more aggressive strength training, uh, or you're just really physically active more so than usual and you're feeling sore, if it's fairly new to you or you've upped your game or something like that, I tell people on average four to six weeks for your body to, to kind of adjust. So if it's somebody who we were just working on nutrition primarily, and they've been doing really good six, eight weeks consistently, and then they introduce strength training and all of a sudden the weight loss comes to a screeching halt, I usually suggest to them to be patient for that four to six weeks while their body adjusts because there's going to be a lot of glycogen and water retention going on. Uh, because your body is adjusting to that, plus the added, just the, just the strain and stress of the exercise itself. So you want to keep that in mind. I would not be in any hurry whatsoever to drop your uh, points or change your eating that you're doing. It already sounds like you're not doing, um, you know, eating any of your fit points. You're only eating a few of your weeklies. So I would just stay super consistent with what you've been doing let your body adjust to this. And then hopefully at some point, the soreness and everything will start to go by the wayside. Um, and you should start to notice it pick back up. But keep in mind, everybody, whether we're talking a change in fitness or not, your weight loss will not be consistent week to week. It's going to, it's going to come to a halt at some point. And it could be a couple weeks here and then it picks back up. And then a couple weeks there, it's very much outside of your control. I've been saying this a lot lately to a lot of people you can influence your weight. You cannot control your weight. That, and that can be your maintenance and it can be your weight loss. So a big issue I've been having with this whole Kerbo thing and the parents being concerned about their kids and, and all that, we can't control our kids' weight. As I mentioned before, right, as they go through puberty, 15 to a 40 pound gain, you don't really get a vote on that as a parent. It just happens. But what you can do is change habits and lifestyle to influence weight over time. Make sure there's no convenience foods, there's no fun foods laying around, plenty of fresh fruits and vegetables, taking your kids for hikes, you going and getting exercise. All of these things will influence weight over time, whether or not you as an adult choose to weigh and measure and track your food. All of those things will influence, but as far as the day-to-day -day number or even the week-to-week -week number, you have no control. Your body operates on its own system and you operate on your own system. You just want them to both go at the same point. <laughs> you want them to work together. And I always say this, here's how you know. When was the last time you thought, oh, you know what? Today, today, I'm going to let my heart beat 5,281 times. 
I'm manually controlling that. The heart will not beat more than 5,281 times. <laughs> Nobody does that, right? If you were to say, I am going to take three, uh, 3, uh, 3,211 breaths today. I'm going to be very conscientious. I'm only going to breathe so many times. Do you really think that's something that you can control? No, your body runs all these systems. It doesn't ask for your input. It doesn't ask for your input on weight loss either. But your habit and behavior changes over time can influence your weight to go up or it can influence your weight to go down. That's what you want to remind yourself of every time you step on the scale. I'm doing behaviors that will influence my weight over time. I can't be the person who controls it this week. I'm not able to manually go in and make this happen. So just a thought there to help you out.